Hello, I'm Rich Fippen. I am the director of Bunch of Amateurs. I'm Mark White, oh, the uh, manager of Dorkin Wanderers. So this is the first ever episode of Dorkin Uncovered. I've been doing it for Child for a little while, and when their season got curtailed, I came to you and said, look, this is what I've been doing. We'd already done some filming with you. We'd never done an episode before, and you were just like, yeah, whatever. And you put the mic on and left me to it, if I remember right. Yeah, we was a fucking backup plan. <laughs> yeah, you are, actually. Uh, you are my B plan. Um, yeah. So I know Hawley pretty well, so I went down there and started filming pretty pretty easily, quite comfortably. But I was on my own this day. and had two cameras or three cameras, a couple of GoPros. Um, but didn't know anyone, really. Just you, vaguely, I suppose. Do you remember this game much? Yeah, I do remember it. Yeah, it's Gary Pasto asking fucking irrelevant questions, probably. Um, that coat, I've since ripped Zara jacket. Relatively lucky. Yeah, you wore that a fair bit. Yeah. Absolutely. Interestingly, look how many of these players are now in the National League. National League Prem. Loads of them. Yeah. Well, with you, with you. Yeah. Loads of these boys are still with us, which is brilliant. Dino and Juki are. Well, of course, this was COVID time, so I had to get a very specific angle because you were supposed to be using two changing rooms, weren't you? Yeah, obviously we didn't. No one did, did they? Let's face it. It's fucking a lot of bollocks. It was like, don't use a lighter you know, in a fucking petrol garage or <laughs> don't use a mobile phone, actually. Lights are probably more dangerous Yeah, no, I, I, I stick to the light all in petrol Yeah, no, that's exactly, the, yeah. Yeah, the mobile phone one, yeah, that's, yeah. My barnet uh, was a lot better there, to be honest. It's not amazing. It still looks like it's in the departure lounge, but it is a little bit better, which, um, it's only a few years ago, so. <coughs> when was this, late 2020, was this? Yeah, a couple of years ago, not, yeah. Um, Nicky Wheeler, look, still here. Loads of boys still here. I think this is the one where Samuel Ab got took a whack. Yeah, there's a few things that happened in this game, if I remember rightly. I think, um, well, first of all, I think the structure of the episodes before I found the real structure of team talks, pre match chats, and that kind of thing. Um, there's Paul, yeah. So it was, it was, it's a much shorter episode, it's very brief. Um, but I remember Hawley being well up for this, as you'd expect. This is a cup game, isn't it? Yeah, County Cup, and obviously. Um, lower opposition tend to raise their game. Hawley played really well this night. A lot of a uh, lot of time for Hawley, and um, all the people that have been involved there over the years. Tricky Nicky Wheeler, still with us. Rutherford still with us. Loads of these boys with the club now. Great to see. I think this is the only time I saw Giuseppe Soul play. Game, isn't it? Yeah, Giuseppe Soul. That's what I used to sing at Woking. <laughs> You've got the power to, to know. When I first came in and did this, I just, there's Ben Davy on the right, isn't um, Child would play. When I first came in and did this, I just assumed that everyone had been there for ages and it did never occur to me that some of these players are relatively new and um, I always thought it felt like I was the new guy. I guess they were, some of those guys are fairly new signings too. Beardy Macca. We missed Beardy. We should have kept older Beardy. No chance of getting him back. Yeah, potentially. Not sure it works now with his dad there, but... Would that make it trickier? Nah, not massively. I don't think it matters. I mean, he, he works really well for Barnett, played back four. Mm. He's an out-and-out -out left back, really, at that level. Right. What were you playing him at, back of, uh, left of a three? Left of a three, so sometimes it gave us a height issue when teams chucked the ball, but right. he's a fantastic player. Um, He's got a little bit of everything. He's, he's an upgrade, to be honest, on what we've got at the moment. Okay. I mean, fuck me, that's annoying, isn't it? <laughs> Goal meant a lot to him, didn't it? And the underdogs are in the lead. Blackpool. I wonder where he is now. Maybe Blackpool. <laughs> Normative determination almost. Who's that in goal? Is it Sam House. There's Sammy, look. Oh, there it goes, yeah. Familiar. We've had him another time as well. Oh, he was the linesman when we had um, that really bad player the other week. A uh, really bad ref the other week. Yeah, that narrows it down. Yeah. No, uh, Durkin the Gherkin. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. He was the linesman. He, he, he blatantly, I think he quite likes us, I like him. But he blatantly was scared of Durkin. <laughs> The, um, so that was the red card right just then. That, the guy who got sent 
teams? Um, I don't know the details. I just know that I was asked to not make a big fuss out of it, to not take the piss out of him too much, um, not to go in on him. So we kept that fairly brief, which is always kind of the goal. We don't never want to piss anybody off, particularly away teams. You've got to be sensitive. Where right, possible. Is, is that Mitchell? Yeah, it is. Look, it's about twelve. I was relieved you did this outside because I, I kept having to go back in and mess with the GoPros and stuff. I'm controlling three cameras and messing with GoPros. It's really hard work, but I'm glad I did it. So many players call Salachi back then. Yeah. <laughs> That's a gag that I try and avoid making because I've done it a few times actually when teams turn up with the same name on the back. <laughs> It's quite a strong team you got out there, I think, isn't it? So strong. Uh, yeah, that's what you're looking at. I think, fucking hell, mate. What a strong side. Tony Prime with more hair over there. Tony's prime, mate, has been. <laughs> Tony's hair is past its prime. Very much, not just in the departure lounge, but I'd say. <laughs> On the runway. It's mad to think that we've been doing this long enough for people to look younger in these videos. Like that's. I know. That's a surprise to me. I never saw that coming. Big tree kickoff shots. Giuseppe Sal, technically, just unbelievable. Oh really? Yeah. All the players. You can always tell a great player because the other players love them. Oh, this is an accidental goal. Jake G. Loves it. Miss Jake. Of Obviously, he's not too far from the club. So Isaac, look at them all. One all, players. here we go. Half time team talks won it. <laughs> <laughs> that keeper is, um, he looks like a, a, a height nearly something. He doesn't look as good as he actually was, I think. Apart yeah, he's a good goalie. At that moment. He's a good keeper. So back then, I'm still doing my less is more commentary, no jokes or anything, and I've got music in the background to cover up um, the fact that I wasn't very good at recording audio, probably still not, but at least I have more audio recorders these days. Um, Don't put yourself down, Rich. Well, audio's never been my strong suit. Well, it doesn't matter, mate. People fucking love it. It doesn't matter. If other people love it, it's all that matters. I think the more we can dial it up, the better. I saw a Oh, really this nice boy's from Chelsea. I wonder where he is now. Yeah, great little player. Random one, that was. Played like one game. No one knows how to fall over, doesn't he? I've noticed that increasingly in the edits. Yeah, he does. Obviously, the, you know, never a penalty. <laughs> Not in a million years. Massive dive. <laughs> Fucking Tom Daly. But a convincing one. Yeah. Who's on this penalty then? Uh, Rutherford, Alfie. yeah, goal. He's taken many. The ball the I missed oh, it. No. I didn't realise that. Yeah, I forgot that. Uh, that's why. That's why we followed up. Yeah, I'm, it was. Was it the South End game? It was the South End game when Bobby Joe so stepped up. Do you remember? You, you had nominated a penalty taker. You thought Alfie should take it. And Alfie said to me afterwards, "I am not a good penalty taker." Yeah, he, he just he doesn't like penalties. He could have scored over forty goals and been worth a million pound. I should have just made him take them. However. <laughs> To I'm serious. Yeah, but your point at the time I'm totally was, fucking serious. I'm sure. I should have said, do you know what? I should have thought about it. Do you know what? If, he, if this man scores penalties, he's going to score 40 goals this year. It'd be worth one and a half million pounds. Yeah. And then we could have just cashed out <laughs> or bought a new motor. <laughs> you could have got rid of your fucking one that you keep chickens in. What, what have you got against my car? <laughs> Paul Novell. Volunteers there. Miss Alfie. Alfie's got that thing about his game where he was a cunt. Um, Alfie's got that thing about his game where he's just a horrible bastard. He knows how to get what he wants, he, he rattles other players, rattles a referee. Can wind people up, look at this, look. That's what Giuseppe Sol does. I'm now hoping that was Giuseppe Sol. He was, yeah. I, I just, with Alfie, because he had a bit of a stuttering start to the season, you just think that by now, if he'd been playing week in, week out, how much he'd have grown, what he'd have been doing by now. Yeah, could he, 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 do you know what he was? Yeah, he was just window shopping start of the season a bit. I think it was a new league. He, he, he was the hero at the back end of it all. And I think he only would have got better. Look at the fans, love them. Look at them, just love it. Fantastic. 
change formation a couple of times. Which yeah, I'm not even going into the dressing, dressing room for these chats, I don't think. I've just so no, I've run in, pressed the cord. This is before I figured out how to set up battery packs on them, so I had to keep running in and turning them on and off. The players obviously weren't particularly used to it. In fact, actually, in the previous season, I had put some GoPros in when you were in Bath or Bristol or somewhere, and the in the playoffs, and I think the players had a bit of a freak out. They took all my cameras down, but yeah. I was hiding in the stands with a camera under a blanket. Wankers, mate. Juppy, top man, top football person locally, great guy. Yeah, he was keen for me to come and film there too, but um, just couldn't be a priority. God, look how young you are. Who do you know you're about to become world famous? Well, world famous for fucking swearing at people and being quick witted, <laughs> basically. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my sideburn, what the fuck? That must be when the barbers were shut, but Nicky Wheeler's a barber, but no one trusted him because he'd done Mitch's. <laughs> Mitch did his own at one point. Yeah, Mitch cut he? his own out. Well, I can't believe it. I mean, he, honestly, it's the worst fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. It was so bad. Um, I let Claire do mine, and she didn't do a bad job. I quite enjoyed growing massive hair. Did during you? Lockdown. You felt it was on some kind of desert island. Yeah, yeah. I went for that. I didn't shave yeah. at all. I um, so I'd never had a beard before of any kind. Yeah, so I think I fucked up some cameras here. So on Juppie's one, I've only got this unflattering up the nose shot. But you know, you live and learn. So much to learn. Oh, things went black then. So much to learn from this. I think I'm using point. my tanning moisturizer at this point. Are you genuinely? Yeah, or vitamin Auto bronze. Yeah, vitamin tablets or something. And Juppie, Juppie looks like he's been on the moon. <laughs> I'm probably pointing a couple of massive white lights at him. Moon bathing, yeah, I'm joking. Juppie, uh, pivotal in, for Hawley for so many years now, Epsom and, you know, Haw is, Hawley's. Yeah. Hawley's um, had a few challenges, um, but uh, he's a top, top football guy. Do you think Hawley can go to a high level? Um, anyone can, but you know, what every club needs are people prepared to get them there. It can't be one bloke. Mm. You know, I think the difference with us is we've got so many people that want to get there. So I've only got one camera angle on you here, which is risky because of the amount that you move, but somehow you're staying in the same spot, which is unusual. The, uh, so I think this camera worked for you and the other camera worked for Juppy, but yeah. What a mess. So I wouldn't fucking know the difference. But that's the thing. I, I had Target a, audience. There was um, an article the other day in the non-league Bible or something like that, and they were talking about Wrexham and then saying that people should watch us instead, which was really, really nice of them. Um, but saying that we're much more rough around the edges, and I'm like, well, my goal is is to not be rough around the edges. I want to avoid that. I know what you mean. I know it's it's not as important, and there's less expectation on a YouTube show but the more we can get right the better it looks yeah it's good but the target audience I'd say 75% don't give a fuck <laughs> I mean as long as it's audible and it's watchable yeah. I think, do you know what yeah. I mean so well I think the key thing that we do um, as much as any of the big guns is look for storylines and look for those plot beats where you say yeah. something and it pays off later on down exactly. the line that's that's what makes it. It doesn't matter if Jupp is getting too much fucking airtime here, Richard. <laughs> I mean, that's one thing you've learned. I'm the fucking star of the show. I'm the one that's box office. Well, at this point, you haven't emerged for me yet. Like, I need to find the stars, I suppose. You can support my channel. Here we go. That's the first ever episode of Dorking Uncovered. Fucking that is short, isn't it? Shorter than James McShane. Great way I've ended it. You know that made sense. 